While a multi-day arts and crafts event is happening this week in the Bemidji area, the North Country Arts and Crafts Workshop is happening for the 40th time this year at the Concordia Language Villages. It's taught by adults for adults and includes over 30 courses taught in a three-day span. Our Jackson Bruner dropped in on day one to see how the public is showing off their creativity. At the North Country Arts and Crafts Workshop, there are plenty of projects to choose from. And on Tuesday, groups spent time creating barn quilt design templates or Santa Claus themed model sleds. They also had an opportunity for some wood shop work. As those who took part created Ojibwe split wood flutes. The process of getting from two split wood halves like these to this final product is complex, involves a large number of steps, and can take several days to finish. If you want a quality flute, uh, you spend a lot of time getting it sanded and getting it smooth, going with a rough sandpaper and getting it down to, you know, uh, 320 or 400 grit. Uh, so the, uh, it takes a nice finish. The same type of precision is needed for a Norwegian plate painting activity called Telemark Rose Mulling, as students created asymmetric displays made of flowers, leaves, and scrolls. Rose Mulling is uh, fantasy style. It's flowers and scrolls and leaves arranged in a pattern. They all come from the root and flow out. What I'm having them do today is practice, practice, practice. A lot of C strokes and a lot of S strokes. Telemark uh, is based on uh, brush control. You have to tell the brush what to do and when to do it and uh, that just takes practice. Many of these classes require that level of attention to detail and whether people were finishing up their quilt designs or smoothing out flutes, the first day provided a great deal of new things to learn. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.